catalog the multiverse. And even though that's impossible, because it's always creating more, and Arrogots knows this is impossible. Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys, girls, and all of our non binary friends, and welcome to this brand new day. Pokey smokes. I actually slept last night. Thumbs up for that. Uh, my housemates have been up be almost before I was. They're upset about something, which always makes me kind of paranoid because I never know what's going on. So, thumbs up. Going to be a good day. The sun is shining. Diffuse light. It was pretty hot yesterday. Uh, comparatively, it wasn't burning. It's been not bad in this area, comparatively. It's supposed to be pleasant, so it'll probably be slightly more than pleasant heat wise and such as the day goes by such is life though i am alive and hopefully you continue staying alive as well yourself and of course front loving of videos hey if you like what you hear and see if you could toss me a like that'd be very cool and if you like what you hear and see and you haven't subscribed yet if you could subscribe to the channel that too would be awesome if you could leave me a comment that would be very very cool and of course i'd like to thank each and every one of my patreon patrons these beautiful and awesome people that are in fact literally beautiful and literally awesome helping to keep me and my pets alive it is greatly greatly appreciated each and every one of these wonderful people it, it's good to be kept alive and i appreciate the help so thumbs up for that if you'd like to become a patron there are links in the video description if you'd like to help me out without becoming a patron there's a PayPal link and if you'd like to help me out without any money at all there's an Amazon wishlist link with stuff like cat food on it so thumbs up on that hey hey what do you say <laughs> so yes a brand new day and it's it's gonna definitely be a day I'm gonna hopefully get some calls made that I would like to have get done is that English? Hopefully so. And hopefully you can get done the things that you would like to get done today. Thumbs up on that as well. As for suddenly it's very loud. And I don't know what, what's making all that loud noise in the house. Huh. Such is life there as well. Boy, I, the loudness of what was happening in the walls just really distracted me. And I'm very, very sorry about that. I was going to talk about as well how the Wellbutrin seems to be helping for my ADHD. And then, of course, I get distracted by this loud sound in the walls. Uh, the dust knocking everything out of my head that I was going to talk about. The Wellbutrin is helping. I can remember things better, but nothing's perfect and I've only just started. So hopefully it's, things are going to keep going well. But yesterday, I played some games, I listened to music, I was as creative as possible, I thought about different things, I went on walkies, I, uh, carrying a 20 found, found, 20 pound container of cat dirt in a cat in your backpack, and then having to walk a couple miles is, oh boy, oh boy, that is sure a whole, a heavy weight off your shoulders when you take that off thumbs up for that painful but you got to do what you got to do and of course i would like to talk about this because e is for arrow gots and of course that is e which is pronounced with an e eh sound so air and then a u which is just u an a which is a uh, and a z which is a ts sound so that's arrow gots arrow gots is one of amagaratsu's children one of the cosmic horrors and with their background <clears throat> as they were maturing they had fallen in love with a particular universe within this multiverse not realizing at that point how utterly unique each universe is they did not form perfect memories and because of this they only have a half-formed memory of something that they long for and they have decided that they're never going to miss again. And they have lines of web and all of their underlings traveling throughout the multiverse and attaching these lines to anything interesting in every multiverse out there, not multiverse, universe within the multiverse and things and people and objects inside. It's gonna do its best to catalog the multiverse. 
And even though that's impossible, because it's always creating more, and Arrogot knows this is impossible, Arrogot still has that compulsion and need and will do so. Arrogot does not travel about any of the multiverse parts or any of the universes within. They have had to park their body within a universe that they commandeered and their body is that universe now. They store all the information that they get coming in on all these lines in their body as informational fat. And of course the best way to look at Aerogots to try and imagine what this being that we don't have the senses to fully even take in, they would be like a, a gigantic bloated obese spider inside of a funnel web that's crawling with maggots. And that's Aerogot, a very very nice cosmic horror compared to the others. Most of the damage that they cause is caused by just the fact that they are a cosmic horror. Just by existing, they do things that affect everybody's lives. They're not trying to do anything horrific, they're just trying to catalog all this information. But just by existing and having interests, it affects others out in the multiverse, both positively, negatively, and neutrally. But that's Eru Gods, yay! And of course, the whole inside-outside Razor's Edge setting is just one of those universes in this multiverse. And of course, speaking of things like that, I've been wanting to talk about this one, but I haven't for a while, so I'm going to do this one real quick. I have mentioned before that one of the largest, you know, top ten on the Razor's Edge causes of death is getting eaten. It's always in the top 10. Sometimes it's in the top five, occasionally in the top three. But especially when you are around places that are more stable, places with intelligence, large groups of people, you're going to have attacks that would end you otherwise that don't. And in fact, if you're in, say, a moderately sized city, in a five year period, you're gonna have to fight for your life or get eaten a about every five years but the chances when you're in a city of you not even knowing that the attack happened is about 40 percent you know like a fly that wants to kill you uh, you know it lands on you with vicious intent uh, but it can't eat you it's just a fly so well that was one attack in that five year period that you didn't know that even happened and then of course there are those where uh, there's no chance, no, don't even bother fighting, you're gonna get at. And then of course in the middle is the block of you're gonna be in a big fight. The chances you maybe might be lunch, you maybe have lunch there at your feet. No, it's you may die, you may win. It's how well you can fight and a little roll of the dice of luck. But the story that I wanted to write, and I suddenly figured out how to put it into the story, is a, of a guy who's in going to college in Apple Rock. He does live streaming occasionally with his phone so on the through net and the various social media network sites on the inside. And while he's working and, and doing stuff as a student, he gets attacked by a squirrel that wants to eat him. But it's just a squirrel. I mean, even if it did manage to kill him, how much could a squirrel eat? Uh, their tummies are tiny. So what a waste. If you, and if you manage to get killed by a squirrel, uh, maybe it is best that you were taken out of the gene pool. But of course, being a relatively young, relatively fit college student, he discaptures the squirrel get some cuts and scratches on him and you know teeth bites takes himself over to the health center gets checked no rabies no diseases the squirrel is inside of a cage he decides to keep it so he goes and he gets meat and it takes about a month month and a half he's live streaming this occasionally he trains the squirrel to know that he while he smells like food isn't food in fact he's the food bringer 
by feeding the squirrel, by keeping it inside of the cage, but slowly building trust through trust exercises, he actually tames the little squirrel. It sees him as the food bringer. And because he is the food bringer, he is worthy of loyalty and love. And so he and little Gatso become a, 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 you wouldn't say pair, but because they are a pet and owner couple, everyone knows who Gatso is, everybody knows who the fellow is, and they're always doing things together because the little squirrel is his friend. Because these squirrels eat meat, because there is more protein and energy in meat, this species of squirrel, that the squirrel got separated from the rest of its people, because of that, they have more energy and more cognition, which is why the squirrel was able to make that conceptual, contextual leap so much easier between food bringer, food, therefore. But I figure as well, this happens just before the whole big rampage of the kaiju. And this fellow is staying in, uh, my sincere apologies, campus housing when the rampage starts. And with the rest of the campus screaming and running and being herded, this fellow and little Gatso are the only ones that don't end up herded into a large area and as it turns out he's in just the right vantage point in darkness you know hopefully hidden but he gets to watch as the kaiju eats his entire you know campus not the buildings all of the students that were staying on campus all of the staff that was on campus at the time all expertly herded into one place and then well it doesn't take long for the kaiju to eat a couple hundred people and it's pretty soon this guy and little Gatso are the only ones left and he's terrified in darkness and the ruins of the campus building that he used to live in and that's when of course after eating everyone just to show that's when the kaiju turns its head it looks right at him for a few seconds and then looks away and heads back into the rest of the town to start eating everyone else. The kaiju left a handful of people alive, some of them more psychologically scarred than others. This fellow and his squirrel, they were psychologically hurt by this trauma but it's nothing compared to like say those people who were at the front of a crowd and it, as it turns out because they were running from the kaiju they end up in a dead end where there's no escape so they're at the end of a crowd and they watch as the kaiju eats every single person that was running and doesn't just eat them the last two handfuls of human beings as the kaiju locks eyes with this person and slowly wedges, wedges, wedges this handful of screaming desperate people into its mouth and then slowly chews. Normally it's just wad, chew, 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 swallow, wad. But this is just a, a case of mm, slow bite slow people screaming fluids pouring out of these people and onto the guy on the sidewalk five slow bites before everyone in its mouth stops screaming and it doesn't even bother to swallow the hand it just wads the other handful of screaming desperate people into the mouthful of just ground meat that all those screaming people used to be. And imagine being one of those people. You're inside of this. You're looking out at the world you used to be in. The air that used to taste so sweet and now has been replaced by the smell of blood, internal organs, feces. 
it's horrific and you are inside this mouth with other people screaming just sitting in this bath of mulched human remains and then the teeth start to close slowly as you are desperately screaming at this person outside to help you because you don't want to die and it takes five long slow chews before everyone in there is finally finally dead and then it just turns and leaves the guy because it's a bastard <laughs> uh, and of course mentally ill cryptids I did not speak in full on this because everything is still a work in progress up in my head when the kai when the kaiju if you are a cryptid and you have a mentally ill cryptid one of the things that happens the cryptids are yelling and screaming not as a tactic except for the much much smarter ones not so much a tactic as it is a reaction to pain your mentally ill cryptid part of you is hurting hard and the only way the cryptid part of you knows how to deal with that is to break out and hurt. When I used to cut myself, the pressure would build up until I did that. And then I would be okay for quite some time before the pressure started to build up again. Same thing. When the, kaid, when the cryptid is given the keys to the vehicle so it can drive while you take a rest and it hurts and kills for a while. It's quiet for a week to a month afterward because it doesn't hurt anymore. You're not hearing it and in, in screaming inside because it doesn't hurt. It uses its pain to crawl over the wall that separates you and it. And the pain of just its mental illness is what allows it and what causes it to do this. And after it gives control back, it's quiet because it doesn't hurt anymore. Whether you have the big dumb animal type of reaction from a cryptid, or you have the Hannibal Lecter type reaction where they're five steps ahead, they're still just killing to stop it from hurting. And I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab. I'm gonna go through and thank however many people have left me comments in the past 24 hours. If I mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended. And even though I count American Sign Language, well, you've already seen how my brain works slash doesn't. We have Jesse Koskinen, thumbs up, and always good to see you in the comments. And I do like the graphics of Morrowind quite a bit, to be honest. And we have Matt P A G E A E A U. Thumbs up. I don't know how to pronounce that, but greatly appreciate J A double Y. Thumbs up, and thank you for the questions. Thank you for the questions. It helps out. We have Lucky C Cyan official. Greatly appreciated. Local five. Thumbs up. And we have Adrian. Greatly appreciated. Ben B. Goats are so cute. I love baby goats. Ice Damon. Greatly appreciated. Joey Drummer Rosati. Thumbs up, and that is it. 19, 19, 9? I can't, 9. 9? Some small amount of people who left me comments <coughs> in the past 24 hours. But anything more than zero is awesome. Thank you so very much. You do get me out of my head and into the world and dealing with real people, if only in text and if only for a short time. Thumbs up. I'm going to be extra wheezy now. When I start coughing, I get constriction until I can clear whatever is causing me to cough. So I, normal airways are like this. I get the constriction that makes me want to cough. And as I cough, it tightens up like this until it clears. I'm not at the clear stage yet. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, so I'm likely going to be coughing here pretty badly pretty soon. Well, I'm going to be existing today, trying to get done the things that I need to get done. If I need to just do survival mode and just survive, then I gotta do what I gotta do. And hopefully you can get done the things that you need to get done. And if you have to go into survival mode, please go into survival mode. As well, with all of the various diseases out there that spread so easily, and the ones especially in the United States here, 
where being smart and taking care of yourself has become a political issue, please be as smart and as safe for your particular area and situation as you can. You don't need to toss your body or anyone else's body onto the end of life corpse pile before it's time. Hokey smokes. So, until we meet again, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, and that is a very good thing.